I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good evening, everyone. Uh, roll call, Superintendent Larson. Ullum. Yes. Odie. Yes. Saxer. Yes. Scott. Yes. Bal is up then. All right. If there are no changes to the agenda, I would appreciate a motion to approve the agenda as presented, please. So moved. Second. There's been a first and a second. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Thank you. No conflict of interest disclosure or waiver requests this evening and community input. I don't see any community input either. That takes us to general business. Uh, oral reports, our first or our oral report is a good news report coming from the intermediate school with the Pask Flower experience. Good evening. I am not going to talk for very long for once. Um, I have a couple people with me here tonight. Um, we've had the opportunity to have a collaboration with uh, Jeff and his farm um, happened uniquely. I was actually at the central office a couple years ago and he's walking out and I'm walking in and Dr. Larson says, this guy likes to farm. And that's kind of how we, how we started it and um, some of those different things. So anyway, uh, we have an opportunity to provide an authentic experience to students and all fifth graders get these. Um, and I'm gonna let Ms. Sershin talk a little bit about some of the science stuff and then Jeff will take over. So yes, I was able to meet Jeff a few years ago and we brought our fifth graders out to pilot the program. And then this year we were able to bring all of the fifth graders out. Um, this fits perfectly with fifth grade science. It um, covers all of our life science and all of our earth science standards. And it's really just a hands-on experience. So instead of just learning about dirt, they're like actually digging in the dirt. And just learning about plants and the prairie, they're in it and they're seeing it and they're feeling it. And it's just a really cool program for our fifth graders to get to experience. Um, we did a pre-test and a post-test and it was also um, awesome to see their growth and their gains that they made and what they learned through this program. So I'll pass it. I'm not sure I'm good at speaking in front of the podium, so you know why I'll just roll. Yeah, oh, you yeah. want to because of the mic? Okay. Yeah. Good. I will stay still, but as best as I can. Well, it's great to be with you. So again, my name is Jeff Zimprich. I want to introduce my wife, Kim. She's definitely a key part of this whole experience that we try to put together. And I would just give you a, just a few minutes here. So there's going to be some slides that are going to scroll here that will just kind of share some things. But then I'll tell a little bit about the experience. We have a really short video at the end. Just a little bit about my background. This fa farm that we're speaking about was actually in my family and from the 19, late 60s to in early 70s, and that's when I joined the Brandon Valley School System. I went to Valley Springs and came to Brandon then after that and graduated in 80. And it was that farm and my education at Brandon that really taught me to appreciate Mother Nature, and that led me into a career in actually a rangeland science. And I worked for the USDA Natural Resources Conservation Service for nearly 40 years. And with that, Kim and I traveled from Montana to Iowa and back to South Dakota and spent quite a few years working with that agency. When it was time for me to retire, I really knew that I wanted to come back to the family farm. And I knew that what I wanted to do at the family farm was share what I learned there with other students. And knowing that that farm sets within probably 40% of South Dakota's population within just a few miles of that. And it seems like we've got more and more kids that really don't have an appreciation of agriculture or mother nature. So anyway, it was that's what got us started. And one of my first visits was to Dr. Larson's office. And I really appreciate everything Brandon Valley has done. They've allowed us to have this coordination, this partnership, and Principal Skipstead, you know, was on board with the pilot and Gina, you know, great job with the pilot and everything. And I got to, first of all, we should give Gina a little applause because teacher of the year. So how could our experience be bad when we're working with the teacher of the year for Brandon Valley? But all the way down to the, the school bus driver, the school bus driver this year who came out for all four days, we had students, we had 50 in the morning, 50 in the afternoon, and we did that for four days straight. Um, I mean, he was just a key part of it. And it really taught us we appreciate the links way, right? It's like 
Well, the kids come out there, we know that they want to have fun, but they're also there to learn. And all it would take is if there's a little commotion, all we'd have to say, hey, let's get, let's go with Link's way. And it worked well, so we really appreciated that. We taught them a lot of different things, and the short video is going to show that in a second, but I was just going to highlight five things we taught. This is actually part of what we did with the, I'll stay behind the mic, we, we did this with uh, the teachers in the classroom. So we took an apple and they split it up. And so three quarters of the apple really of the earth represents the water on the earth. And then we took that last quarter and split it and one eighth of it is Antarctica and the Arctic and mountaintops where you can't grow food. You take the last eighth of the apple, you split it into fours. And one of those is cities and towns and houses and one's other infrastructure. And one is soils like that we might find in the Badlands of South Dakota. So it's one thirty second of that apple, which actually has soil on it. And that would be just that, that very skin that can actually raise our food, right? And we're, filling up, we're feeding a population of right now 8 billion people. So that was one of the key lessons they learned. They learned there's 650 different soils in South Dakota. It was easy to relate that there are 400 kids in roughly the fifth grade class. They're all different. They all have strengths and weaknesses. Soils in South Dakota are the same. We did talk about one of the things that soils have common in South Dakota, and that is that most of them formed under grasslands because we were a grassland state. And it formed beautiful soils, and that's what make ag makes agriculture strong in our state. So we talk about that, and we talk about that 96% of our state was grasslands when the settlers came. It's less now. Why should we care? We talk a little bit about that. And then we kind of, we, they get some experience just uh, working on different pollinators and different things like that, and we'll get that introduced. Um, you know, we talked a little bit about water and just all of those kinds of things as well, thinking about raindrops when they fall on the soil, they have a couple different choices, and how farmers and ranchers really want our water to infiltrate because it's what grows our crops. So that was kind of the key thing. Um, we learned a little bit about an acre and what an acre was, and that uh, with an inch of rain on an acre, that's three tanker trucks worth of water, 27,100 gallons in a one-inch rain. So those things kind of hit home, and we were just really pleased to have that experience and that opportunity with them. So with that, we've just, uh, we'll click on the last little video, and we'll wrap it up for you guys. Questions. 
No, I'm just impressed with the collaboration. Thank you for all the time that you've dedicated. Um, I've heard from quite a few of the fifth graders and their, especially their parents, um, just the time that they could have out there and the appreciation that they've had. Like you said, they didn't know and the parents have learned a lot too. So thank you for just the time and again for inviting them out and for the collaboration of the school district. Thank you. Thank you. All right, superintendent's report, Superintendent Larson. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. Just have a couple items to update the board on here this evening, but would just comment on um, the uh, the experience that you uh, you just. Uh, were sh you just had shared with you, I would go all the way back to the very first conversation I had with Mr. Zemperk, and he sat down and he gave me this 30,000 foot vision of what he wanted to do. And I remember when I looked at him and I said, so I have 5,000 kids and it's gonna be quite the test to run them all through your thing. So let's think strategically about this. And we chatted and the pilot ran and it ran really smoothly. And then we were able to get all those fifth graders through. And I just have to applaud his vision and his commitment to it. But then also Mr. Skibstead's uh, operationalizing uh, the, the entire section getting there. And that takes quite, uh, quite the task from transportation to scheduling, et cetera. So uh, job well done on all fronts. Uh, just a couple no items to note in terms of strategic plan. Our uh, community survey uh, has closed. Um, I'll just give you an initial report that all of those uh, respective scoring systems on a, a scale of one to four were over 3.5 stars in all of those respective areas. I'll have a more detailed uh, overview for you here in the coming months. And then we'll spend a fair little bit of time uh, working through the data that we have gained, the comments that we have gotten, and ultimately strategizing uh, next steps. Uh, the 24-25 budget process in J July, you'll hear the, the, uh, the hearing, and then we may take, uh, may take action at that point in time for the FY25 budget. Uh, policy update schedule, just want to provide you guys with um, a little bit of an outline on uh, how this will go. So in June, there will be, will be a number of policy discussion items. And what I, what I intend to do is probably breaking it out by section. So section A, B, C, D, and then I'll just highlight what, the, what they will be. And then at the second meeting in June, you'll see that first red line version. And then July would be the action, um, the action item. Uh, in terms of policy updates. Uh, Eastside Elementary, we are currently in the process of uh, working through that uh, situation as well. We will have our naming uh, committee um, get engaged here in the very new fu near future. That's assigned by the superintendent as outlined in policy FF. Um, and what we're looking at in terms of that project, July 8th, we'll release the bid specs. We'll open bids on August 8th. I'll look to award that bid at the first meeting in August. Um, and we're under construction all the way through the summer of 2026 with it open in the fall of 26 for the 26, 27 school year. Brandon Valley School Board, no election is necessary. Two petitions were filed. Congratulations, Mr. Odie and Mr. Scott to your uh, seating of three year terms. And understanding that school just got out uh, just a little bit ago, it's Crazy to think about talking about next fall already, but we need to do so. Uh, next fall, August 21st is the first day for all kiddos grades one through 12. August 23rd is the first day for our junior kindergarten and kindergarten students. And if you can remember, we used that Wednesday and Thursday of that first week of school uh, to have those one-on-one -on -one site visits with kindergarten families. It's uh, been very popular. And then the first day of school for our early childhood kiddos is on Monday, August 26th. Uh, Madam Chair, with that, would certainly field any questions that you may have. Okay, thank you, Superintendent Larson. Uh, board policy, as Dr. Larson discussed, that will start in June. Uh, with that, I would entertain a motion to approve items one through seven under general business, please. So moved, second. There's been a first and a second. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion passes, thank you. I would entertain a motion to approve items one through 17 under personnel, please. So moved. Second. 
There's been a first and a second. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Thank you. Item 18 is for an information only for a transfer. Under communication, uh, Board of Education, there are a variety of thank yous there for you to review. That takes us to our board reports. Does anyone have a formal board report that they would like to share this evening? Uh, I have a few things, uh, mostly coming from the ASBSD. Uh, first of all, uh, the executive director um, has resigned. So at the, this time, we are going to be under um, an interim um, from the central office um, that will act. A resignation was immediate. Um, so that will be opening up a search. Um, so communicate as that goes on. Uh, ASBSD will also have their annual convention here in Sioux Falls. So if you would like to attend, let Jennifer know so that she can make that registration for you. Um, I most likely will have a couple sessions that I'll be speaking on. Um, AI will be one and another possibly added to that. So I would love to see you in attendance. Um, local city and state elections are coming up um, for all those in attendance and listening. Uh, would just ask that you would make your vote be known. Uh, we'd like to have everyone voting, but also think about those that are in support of public education. Uh, if you have any questions on that, I'd be open to having discussion. Um, I also may have some yard signs in the back of my car and we can have those conversations, <laughs> but we want to make sure that we have the right people uh, to make their um, support for public education and the incumbents are not always those individuals. So we can have more conversation about that. Um, any questions that you would like to discuss with me about the ASBSD opening uh, or if anybody that you know that might be looking at that, uh, we can also have that discussion. Finally, the ASBSD convention is a time when they award a lot of awards, uh, one being for a school board member, the school board as a whole, as well as community service, uh, the school bell award, and those nominations are open right now. Uh, you can find those school or those nomination forms on the ASBSD website. You can also contact one of us. We have those nomination forms, um, but would love to be able to flood their boxes with nominees. See, Odie's already ready to nominate. Uh, so have nominations come from the Brandon Valley School District as well as the Brandon Valley community as I believe we have a lot of individuals here that serve and support um, education. So please let me know if you'd like to have anybody, if you'd like to have those forms, I can send those to you via email. Bless you. I don't have a board report, but I just wanted to uh, say thank you for all those that came to Valley Springs for that uh, open house, the celebration of the school, uh, Ms. Mutter, everybody that was involved, even Mr. Dr. Larson was out directing traffic. It was hilarious. Um, also, Sunshine, all the businesses that chipped in, Ace, um, it was just a, it was a beautiful windy day, but there was a great turnout and everybody just couldn't, couldn't get enough of the school and, uh, the tours. And so a lot of, a lot of smiles, a lot of memories and pictures taken. So thank you. Thank you. And, you know, that was a fun day. I do appreciate you helping direct traffic. We got nice and sunburned while we were out there doing that. Um, the other thing I also wanted to say is I appreciate um, Superintendent Larson being open to uh, Kayla Moss as an alum of the Brandon Valley School District, and she also works at the Siouxland Heritage Museum. And so once the school is relatively empty, she will go in and log the entire school with pictures, and then those will be preserved for future use. So I'm hoping that we can sometime get a picture of that elusive basketball court that's in that basement somewhere. So. Anyway, just some history, and it was a very fun day, and thank you, everyone, for helping. Anyone else have any reports? All right, hearing none, uh, that takes us to the end of our agenda. I would entertain a motion to adjourn, please. So moved. Second. There's been a first and a second. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Thank you. Go enjoy the beautiful weather.